Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Petra. Um, I'm a single homeschooling mom and a writer. And this week, I have no vlog. I didn't go grocery shopping. There's no grocery haul. I cooked, but it was like basic or meals or repetitive meals already done. And the reason why I didn't have a grocery haul is because my car decided it wasn't going to start this week. <sighs> this car has been giving me trouble for a while, but it's not in the budget to fix at the moment. And the most ironic thing about having car troubles is my ex-husband literally I mean, he doesn't have like a license in it or whatever, but he's a mechanic. He's been fixing cars for like 16, 17 years. He's fixed so many cars. He's built his own engines and all this. And I'm having car trouble with no help. Usually, being a single mom and being on basically on my own in terms of I don't have family to turn to or friends or a significant other. It doesn't bother me. I've accepted this. I've accepted that my life is basically going to be the life of a loner. I've accepted that I will not develop any new friendships. I'm not searching for new friendships. I've accepted that I'm the black sheep of the family and that majority of my family I will not get along with and they don't like me and I'm fine with this I've accepted it and I've accepted the fact that I will not have a significant other because I do not go out or date and I'm not searching I've accepted the fact that my life is just gonna be me and my kids and then whatever point my kids grow up and move out not that I would ever ask them to move out but whenever they decide to move out and live their adult lives I will not search for anything I have settled on the fact that my life will be alone and when the time comes for me to not be on this earth anymore I will do it alone I will leave here alone and I've accepted this and I don't push it to anything else I don't want to look for anything or anyone but when the moments like this where I can't get my car to start and I have no one to call for help that's when it bothers me because like for years I've helped a lot of people oh wow that just broke for years I've helped a lot of people and people that have come into my life have always just taken I've helped so many people and never got any help so even if I had those people still in my life I don't think regardless I could have called them but it just still sucks that I just don't know what to do right now, honestly. Where I live, you can't be without a car. Everything is far away. Nothing's in walking distance. And on top of that, there are no sidewalks. There are no sidewalks. Everything's far. And if I was to walk to everything, I can't bring the kids along. Well, not Nicholas. He's not used to walking. The oldest one's fine. I can't leave the youngest ones at home. So the oldest ones can't come with me to help me. I don't have no, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to do right now. Like, it's been one stressful week. I haven't been able to hit my word count. The car is not starting. I didn't get to do a grocery shopping, grocery shopping this week. We have groceries for now. But I'm just like struggling. Every time I start to like feel like I'm being positive and I'm, I'm making it somewhere, something else falls apart. Every time something starts working, one or two other things somewhere else stops working. So I'm okay with being by myself. And that's literally how my childhood was. My teen years, I only ever had people when I was like at the end of my teen years into my early adulthood. And then those situations prove to me why I've kept to myself. 
because they fell apart all in a bad way people betraying me and and lying to me so i know there's good people out there like myself but i just i, I don't have the energy to look and to build relationships like i can barely have energy for myself but right now i really wish there was somebody i could call i know because i really don't i really don't know what to do I know it's the battery from the, the sounds it's making. A new battery is going to cost and then I got to get somebody to put the battery in. <sighs> uh, so I haven't been in the mood to pick up any cameras to do any recording because I'm trying to figure out how to fix my situation. I still need to move out of here and now my car doesn't work yeah yeah I don't know where I left off I got interrupted um sometimes I can't even talk without somebody trying to listen um what was I saying I don't even know, but yeah, um, so my car isn't starting, pretty sure I said that, and and even though temporarily I'm living with my parents, I can't even ask them for help because the level of narcissism okay they like to pretend they're nice people and help people and they'll help people and then talk so much caca about them behind their back and my dad's favorite thing to do is to talk about his kids to his other kids and laugh at them which is why i vlog quietly and why i don't tell him any of the things i'm doing because at some point he's called every one of his kids an idiot made fun of the thing they really wanted to do and study and belittled it so with that being said one of the very last fights we had my father thought it would be nice to throw in the fact that sometimes he feeds me and my kids I mean you're my father you're their grandfather why wouldn't you give us food I would give you food anyway so I don't even want to ask them for a ride they have a car I don't want to ask them for a ride. I don't want to ask them for help at all because at some point they're going to throw it back to my in my face because what I've been doing is gradually pulling away from them. I don't want to keep contact once I leave. The negative voice in my head is definitely them. I know at some point he'll be giving me a ride at a store and in some roundabout way tell me how much of a failure he thinks I am. So. I literally have no one to ask for help so right now I'm stuck I'm not gonna ask my ex-husband for help he doesn't even pay child support so I'm not gonna ask him for help I'm not gonna call anybody I'm gonna do what I always do sit quietly and suffer in silence I don't even usually tell anybody anything, not even on social media, but the fact is that the whole point is just to vlog what's going on in my life and I can't give you a vlog because chaos is going in. All I wanted to do is go back to my old habit of curling up in a ball and laying up in, in blankets and pretending none of it's going on, but that gets you nowhere. So, I'm going to continue to write and try and see what I can vlog and <sighs> try and see what I can vlog and um, I, don't know. I have such a headache. I think I got like two hours of sleep last night. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what, I'm, what to do. 
because any version of this requires me talking to someone and asking someone for help. There's no version of this where I can fix it myself. Uh, I don't know. Well, but yeah, that's that's the reason there's no vlog this week. But you know, maybe there'll be a vlog next week. Until the next time.